Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Reed Graham, a realtor here in Greenville, South Carolina with Coldwell Banker Kane, and I appreciate you tuning in. Today we're going to talk about where to live in Greenville, South Carolina. If you're from here, you're probably familiar with some of our different areas, but if you're in Connecticut, Boston, New York, Texas, elsewhere, I'm excited to talk to you about some of the different areas that Greenville has to offer and might be a great fit for you. So it's a broad question. Where to live in Greenville, South Carolina? You're like, dude, I thought I was moving to Greenville. Like, Greenville, right? Well, we have a lot of different areas of town that kind of accommodate various lifestyles. And when I'm working with a buyer, that's one of the first questions I ask is, I say, hey, what kind of activities do you enjoy? Where do you like to do your living outside of work? What's your budget look like? And with those factors, we're going to kind of pair that all together and we're going to be able to determine areas that might be great for you. But today, we're going to talk about the different spots. That way you can be well informed and educated and say, man, Simpsonville sounds cool. Man, I really like Malden, man, I want to be in Eastside, I want to be in Greer. That way to give you a better idea about all that Greenville has to offer. We talked about some of the qualifying criteria that, that might make a good fit for you, but since I don't know all of the individual viewers out there, thank you for tuning in. We're going to talk about this on a broad scope. One thing that you'll commonly hear me talk about is our downtown area. So downtown Greenville is a great place to be. It really brings people into our city. It really brings people into our community and the upstate as a whole. It's got a lot to offer. If you're into dining, restaurants, we have a great food scene. It's a miracle I'm not fat yet because I love to eat out and I hate to cook. It's a good thing I live here because we have a lot of great restaurants. We also offer a lot of outdoor living. We've got a lot of parks. We've got Unity Park, which just celebrated its year anniversary this week, I believe. Uh, we've got Falls Park with the Liberty Bridge. It's awesome. It's definitely attraction, but our downtown is also very walkable as well and very inviting. You've got Cleveland Park. You see people out there playing volleyball, walking their dogs, riding their bikes, doing all the things. It's got a lot to offer. Now, in some of the kind of Greenville adjacent areas, we're talking Simpsonville, we're talking Malden, we're talking Greer. They also offer great downtowns. I, I want to in include Fountain Inn, which kind of got a small, quaint downtown area. It speaks to a lot of different people, and whatever you're looking for in your home, where you want to live, and your lifestyle, there's a spot for you, and I'm glad that you're here, because that's what we're going to cover. So we talked about downtown Greenville for a second. If that's something you're like, hey man, that's where I want to live. A downtown condo might be great for you. In a previous video, we talked about those. They're going to start at $300,000. That's for a 1-1 one, one, all the way up to roughly $3 million. And I was looking at some of those yesterday, and they are really sharp. There's a new building downtown that's offering some really luxurious lifestyles and living. If you're like, hey, man, that sounds cool. I want to learn more about that. Give me a holler. Let's talk downtown condos. I love them. I've got a buyer looking for one right now. If you're out there and you're like, hey, man, I got a downtown condo I want to sell give me a holler let's make a deal now if you want a single family residence and you still want to be close to that area i recommend looking into the historic hampton pinckney district some really great homes there you drive through that street and you're like man this is one of the coolest places i've ever been now there are some some homes in that area that are new construction but primarily most of them are historic homes and really really neat in the downtown area you're going to have a higher price tag it just kind of comes with the territory you know, the Alta Vista, North Main, Augusta Road areas are all really highly sought out after. And it's a great place to live because you're still super close to town and you have a great lifestyle and home. Now, if you're somebody who wants a big yard, you don't want to be on top of your neighbors, you want to be in the mountains, you want a more rural vibe, great, we got you covered there too. So let's talk about all things Greenville, easy access there. You've got Traveler's Rest that might be a great fit if you're looking for something more rural but still close to town. It offers a lot of great things in TR. You've got the Swamp Rabbit Trail. You've got a great downtown area there that I really love. There's a farmer's market down there on Saturdays. It's got a lot of great options. And and it's a phenomenal place to be. I've got a couple of friends that live in TR and they love it. There's not enough good things to say about it, but it's not for everybody. This is not for you. Let's talk about some more places to live. Are you interested in lake life and you want to kind of have a primary home there, a secondary residence, a place to go spend the weekend, have some fun out on the water? We've got great lakes here in the upstate of South Carolina. You've got Lake Kiwi, you've got Lake Hartwell, you've got Lake Robinson and many more, but they're great spots and they offer a variety of different lifestyles 
lives and living. Now, some of the kind of different neighborhoods out on Lake Kiwi that I want to touch on are the cliffs and the reserve at Lake Kiwi. And now these offer very high-end, very inclusive, luxury communities. Most of these homes are going to be roughly a million dollars, but there's beautiful golf courses out there, beautiful lakefront lots, really great place to be. Had the privilege of selling a home out there last year. Those people absolutely love it and it fits their lifestyle. So if you're looking for a lake house, let's talk because there might be a good option to fit your needs, your lifestyle, and your budget. Talk about high-end living on the lake. Talk about peanut butter and jealous. That's where I want to be. So if you buy a house out there, great. I look forward to being your realtor, but just, you know, make sure you invite me from time to time. We'll come hang out. We'll have a good time. All right. So we talked about downtown Simpsonville, talked about downtown Greer. If you're looking for more affordable options with a great place to go hang out, it's where you want to spend your weekends. You want to go have a nice meal, catch a concert, food trucks, you name it. Look into downtown Simpsonville and Greer. Now, I'm a little bit partial. They're both a little bit different. I think downtown Greer is super cool. I like it there a lot. And what's nice about that is, is, you know, it's easy to go to. But if you're like, hey, let's go to downtown Greenville, you're still really close. It might be a 15, 20 minute drive. Come hang out, do all the things. Now, these are going to be more affordable options. Obviously, there is some upscale and high end living in both of these areas of Greenville. But, you know, what we see in Greenville is, it's kind of the more you spread out, the more affordable homes are going to be. Now, prices in Greenville are increasing for a variety of reasons, whether it's low inventory or people who are sitting on 2 and 3% interest rates that don't want to move. You know, there are several different reasons. If you're thinking about buying, I encourage you to at least have the conversation as to consider it now, because I really think that if you were to go ahead and pull the trigger, you'd call me in a couple of years and say, Reed, man, I am so glad that I bought when I did because I'm looking at the price. Prices. I'm looking at the equity that I have in my house, and that was a really great decision. So if I still haven't piqued your interest, and you're like, dude, I do not want to live near anybody. I want acreage. I don't want to see my neighbors. You're looking for your own kind of private little oasis out in the country. Well, hey, we've got you covered there too. For that, I recommend looking into Fountain Inn. It's going to be a little bit more rural out there. It's going to be a little bit more affordable out there. You can also look into TR, which is a great option. And then even Greer has some good options where you can be spread out, not necessarily see your neighbors. You know, these different areas of Greenville are really awesome because they provide you with different options that might accommodate your lifestyle, your wants, and your needs. So get you a city that can do both. You got downtown living, you got rural spaces, you got all the things. Now, if you haven't heard anything that really kind of spoke to you today, that's all right, because obviously I'm not able to cover every little bit of Greenville in this one video. But if you're interested in moving to the upstate of South Carolina, and say, hey, I think Greenville is a pretty cool place. I like what it has to offer. Give me a holler. Let's talk. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.